Halo internet, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Apa kabar semuanya, mudah-mudahan selalu dalam keadaan sehat walafiat Kembali lagi di channelnya Kuala Gig Kali ini kita akan melihat reaksi dari reaktor mancanegara yang akan mereaksi videonya Mas Alip Bata Kali ini ada satu guru gitar dari Kanada yang akan mereaksi videonya Mas Alip Bata Yang berjudul Another Day, lagunya dari Tiam Dream Theater Bagaimana keseluruhannya kita langsung saja ke video berikut ini Let's go My name is Hal, this is Quail Studios Guitar. I got my son, Levi, here. He's been on the channel before playing guitar with me. Did you play drums one time? No, just guitar. We haven't okay. done drums yet. Okay. So Soon. we've been together before, but we're doing this video with uh, about Another Day. That's the song, Another Day. We're doing a comparison between Alipata and... Dream Theater. Dream Theater. And the reason Levi's here is because he's a Dream Theater fan. He knows everybody's name. <laughs> I do. <laughs> if I t spent enough time studying music theory that I spent studying dream theater music, then I'd probably be really, really great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start with dream theater. You ready? Yeah. We had to cut dream theater from this video because it was being blocked in some countries. If you would like to see the full video where we compare Alipata and dream theater side by side, clips one right after the other, go to the link in the description. Okay, we're gonna stop right there and listen to Ali Bata and see what he's doing. What do you think? I like it. <laughs> it sounds really good. Yeah, it, it sounds great. I have no idea. I've never heard of a court guitar before. Yeah, they're actually... Yeah, it's a good guitar. Are they? Yeah, it's really good. That's cool. It's got a nice sound. Yeah, and they're actually... That's like a $1,000 guitar. It's got a nice cutaway. He can get really high on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's a nice guitar. And that... What, you know... Oh, we just watched it, but uh, right here, listen. That little bend that he does right there above the nut. I can't do that on my guitar. Why? Because it doesn't have enough oh. room up there to yeah. do it. I haven't looked at my guitar, which is a Blue Ridge BR-73, compared to the court. But I don't think I... Yeah, it's back there. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can do that on my guitar. What do you think about the difference between uh, that introduction with Elite Bata? Anything different? Uh, Elite Bata plays the melody, um, that descending three note. Da, 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 just slightly different. But he goes... Bum, bum, bum. Uh -huh. Which is... Yeah, he does that different. twice. Yeah. But they don't do that in Dream Theater. That's fine. Okay. Let's listen to the lead in Dream Theater. I have to say, I really, I really like this video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's produced really well. The way that uh, the guitarist, John Petrucci, plays the lead is just really nice. He has some nice vibrato on it. And, you know, it's, it's a little more it, mellow from some of their other music, which is, I love that. Okay. Ideas? Any thoughts? I like it. I, yeah. I love uh, his little pitch bend is really interesting. Um, but it's very precise, which is fantastic. Yeah, I, I like it a lot. Yeah, he's right in tune. Yeah. And I like his uh, percussion right after the pitch bend right here. Listen. And he has that. Not only is he tapping the guitar, but he's also doing... It's almost like a... Is it like a snare? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, but he's doing that with his thumb right mm -hmm. there on the E string. Yeah, it's very... And he's he's got great feel. I love the chord that he does when he comes up to the 11th fret right there. Mm -hmm. And he kind of... He does that does vibrato. That nice bend. <laughs> vibrato. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Okay, let's listen to the, the melody with what Lee Bata does. Yeah. Like that. 
he's really he's putting we're gonna have to listen to that again but he's he's putting a lot of uh a hammer on, a hammer on here a pull mm -hmm. off there it's just really cool the sound that he's getting out of that guitar too i really like it okay let's listen to that intro um that Elite did <laughs> First time? I don't know, we'd have to go back and listen. listen to what's the vocalist's name uh james labrie let's listen to james labrie on this part okay you ready oh sax i love the sax in his prime L labrie had a really powerful voice right He's, and that's what we're hearing yeah man well this is all before i mean this is 93 mm -hmm. and i don't think there was a lot of auto-tune or, or pitch correction or anything like that in 93 um, no no so he's he's got some decent pipes. It's really inter it's it's really cool to me about the way that Leap is playing this. In you know after listening to Dream Theater's version and his side by side, they have a very complex arrangement comparatively because they have not only do they have acoustic piano, but they have organ synth sounds. They have the saxophone. They have the guitar. They have the bass. They have the drums, and he's taking all of that and putting it in through an acoustic guitar solo. And it sound, still sounds like the same song, and it sounds great. Mm -hmm. So that's I agree. impressive, to <laughs> say the least. Very good. Let's let's listen to this part. This is the verse, right? Pre-chorus. Uh, Pre-chorus. Chorus. Okay. <laughs> That's the part that we were just listening to. This is the point where Labrie is singing that, those really, really high modes. And just hold it. Then he's going to go to a little... Mo oh. Oh, never mind. There it is. So this is a key change. This mm -hmm. is the key change part. Okay, we're going to stop right there at the lead and go back and listen to a lead up to that point. There's a lot to digest. <laughs> There's a lot going on. I love it. Uh, I like that. Bom, ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum, yeah. Da -da -dum, da -da. I love that part. That riff right there. Yeah, that's great. cool. Okay, here's the key change up to the lead. What's, what's interesting is he's playing everything. Like whenever there's a uh, repeat in the melody, a leap sometimes will play it one way with the harmonics, and then he'll play it again with the fretboard, just showing the different techniques that he right. can play it. It's just really cool. It's nice. It's interesting. Yeah, it's great. It, makes, it keeps me interested. He's really good at at harmonics. Mm. Yeah. That's one thing that he's really strong on. Okay, here we go. back into the verse let's go back and listen to nice. <laughs> good we'll talk about that in just a second as yeah. we listen to uh, dream theater 
Okay, I think it's interesting. Let's go back to Alipa Tai for a second. Um, he actually doesn't do the really high octave stuff. Mm -hmm. He keeps it lower. Mm -hmm. has all the elements. So what is that? And now that was just like what the lead guitar did. A, yeah, I was I think it's pretty much all the notes that Petrucci hits. He hits a lot. And so I don't know, and he does it faster as yeah, trying we, to count to see if he hit all the same notes in the scale, but I think it's pretty much all the same. Right, we'd have to break it down a little bit yeah. farther, but uh, that's for another day. Okay, so the end of this lead, let's listen to the end. Right there, uh, Petrucci is really high oh, yeah. on his neck. And then right there at the end, you'll notice that Alipata did this. Right here. That, that's what's happening in the background right. of his lead. So he has to decide, what am I going to play right there? Mm -hmm. And I think that was a, the right choice. Do, 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 I think it serves the music better as well right, for because, the song. Yeah, because you, you crescendo into that. Mm -hmm. And it goes, and then right into the last verse. Yeah. Okay, let's listen to the last verse. That's really high. Okay, here's the verse. Yeah, so he basically did the same thing that Labrie. Labrie did. Mm -hmm. And he, he went really high. Yeah. Yeah, which was really good. So here's the outro. Okay, now here's Ellipse. I think Ellipse is a little shorter. He still has that melody that goes up, which they don't have. That was the melody that the saxophone played. Yeah. And I lower. Oh, or maybe. <clears throat> <laughs> Octave lower. That was yeah. lovely. What do you think? I like it. Yeah, great. Yeah. I think uh, Elite plays it very, very well. He does. Yes, yes. I agree. All right. Do you have anything else to say? I don't think so. All right. Thanks for being here. Those are my thoughts, Levi's thoughts. Put your thoughts down below in the description below and uh, subscribe for more videos like this if you like what we're doing. Thanks for being here. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Oke teman-teman itu tadi kita sudah sama-sama saksikan bagaimana reaksi dari reaktor luar negeri ya seorang guru gitar bersama anaknya yang mereaksi videonya Mas Alipata yang berjudul Another Day dari Dream Theater dan komentar anaknya permainan Mas Alipata sangat fantastik katanya oke mungkin itu saja untuk kali ini uh, mudah-mudahan kalian semua terhibur jika kalian suka dengan video ini jangan lupa like, comment, dan share nyalakan lonceng notifikasinya gue lagi pamit kita akan berjumpa lagi di video-video yang lebih menarik lainnya Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh